So a question we get asked all the time is how much house can I afford? I'm gonna go ahead and answer that question and show you how the math works so that you can make a plan for affording the house you wanna afford. So in mortgage lingo, the affordability is what we call the debt to income. And what the debt to income is, is it's really looking at your cash flow. It's looking at your gross income before taxes, and then it's looking at the house payment and any other monthly obligations you have on credit, such as an auto loan, car payment, student loans, that kind of thing. And then we look at it as a percentage. So let's run some kind of simple numbers on that. So let's say you've got $5,000 a month in gross income. There's two debt to income ratios that we look at in mortgage. One is the house payment as a percentage of your income, which is called the housing ratio or the front ratio. And the second one is your total debt to income or the back, the back end debt to income. And that is considering the house payment, student loans, credit cards, if you pay alimony or child support, anything that would show up on your credit, uh, that would be considered part of that total back end debt to income. And there are parameters in mortgage financing that you've got to fit in. Uh, to determine that monthly payment or your ability to pay those, that monthly payment in those debts. So one of the first numbers to consider the front ratio needs to be about 45% of your gross income. So if you make, again, the five grand a month, then 45% of that is about $2,250 a month. So most loan programs, you could have about $2,250 a month in monthly payments. That equates in today's market to about $375,000 in a mortgage. Now, when we're thinking about house payment, it's total payments. So inside of a mortgage, you have property taxes, homeowners insurance, uh, if applicable, mortgage insurance, if applicable, a homeowners association. All that would have to be uh, inside of that $2,250 a month for the total payment. Now the second part, the second ratio or the total ratio, and all these are a little different to your credit score, your financial situation, loan programs you qualify for, but these are rough parameters of the, the back or total ratio in some programs can be about 55%. So if you make five grand a month, that total ratio is about $2,750, okay? So we've got to fit in the front ratio, the 2250 house payment or less, and then we've also got to consider that total back ratio. So let's use an example of somebody that has a $500 car payment, $200 in student loan payments, and $100 in credit card minimums, let's say. So that person has $800. Well, if they can be $2,750 in total payment, we subtract the $800 in monthly payments they have, that leaves them about $1,950 in that example that they could have in a house payment. So their front ratio would be more like 40%, but then their back would be about 55. That would give them about $325,000 in a mortgage. So the way to change your debt to income, right, is earn more money, bring on a co-signer, reduce your debts, uh, have, have your credit score as high as you can get it and a, debt, and a down payment so that you can get the best loan possible. And I know that's a ton of math. I don't want to overwhelm you, but I think that at least gives folks a pretty decent baseline. If you took your income, 45% of that, that's going to be my max house payment. My income, 55% of that is this. What other debts do I have? Work yourself backwards a few ways and maybe how can you improve that? So we would love to help look at your personal situation and help you kind of navigate the complexities of loan programs, credit scores, and uh, how to maximize your purchase price and debt to income. Feel free to shoot us a call, text, email, or maybe the best option is we'll have a link right here that you can go ahead and schedule a time to connect on the phone with uh, one of the loan officers on our team and we can just go over your specifics. Thanks for your time. We look forward to connecting.